Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today, we will be talking about a very simple tool that helps us define the scope of our problem, called a SIPOC diagram. SIPOC stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Processes, Outputs, and Customers. It is a diagram that gives us a better understanding of scope. It allows us to decide upon the starting and ending point for the process that we will analyze. We can also understand inputs and outputs of the process, who supplies the inputs, and who receives and utilizes the outputs. All of this is useful information for any improvement project, whether it is general problem solving, Kaizen, or even value stream mapping. A SIPOC can be done using a simple spreadsheet, or it can include a flowchart in the process section. We recommend beginning with the process steps and listing them in time order from top to bottom under the process label. Then we ask what are the inputs to this process. Inputs would include anything that is used in the process but not created during the process. We will list the inputs in the appropriate column. Then we will ask who supplies the inputs. This could be internal departments or even external suppliers. Fill this in the supplier column. Next, we look for outputs. Outputs are things that come out of the process to be used by the customers to the process. We list the outputs in the output column. And then finally, we list the customers who are the users or receivers of the output or outputs. Creating a SIPOC diagram is very helpful prior to beginning a current state value stream map. We want to understand the scope of the map and the suppliers and customers before beginning the mapping itself. SIPOC diagrams are also good for general problem solving. We need to understand what parts of our process are in scope for the problem solving, and SIPOC helps us to refine that. If you have an interest in learning more about SIPOC diagrams, value stream maps, and even general process mapping, visit our website at www.emsstrategies.com and contact us. We would be happy to help.